Hey folks, Mel the Train Shooter here with a bit of a special vlog series. Now it's the middle of summer here, it's a bit hot for the studio, my laptop has, has died in the heat and I'm streaming from home. Now while I'm streaming from home I've got a bit of a project to do. A while ago I told you about uh, I was going to do a large commission uh, Stalingrad build a uh, big table for foreground for a salute. Because of schedules and what they had going on, what I had going on, we didn't get to do it in time so I've split that table up into multiple two by twos and I'm making two by two dioramas so to speak demo boards now I have one of their what you call it uh, Freiburg forts for the legends of the fable realms now these are a wooden fort kit uh, I'll throw some pictures up right now nice didn't it now I first saw this uh, at salute watch it this year and I just like yeah I, I've got to have one of those guys yeah they got it coated up with snow and everything it looked really nice but I thought I can do something with that something quite cool okay now to very quickly show you what this the sort of stuff is the kit comes with sort of eight of the sorry six of these towers now the tower isn't completely finished I still had to have to add some fascias onto it but I'm not going to do that just yet because I need to do some converting. Yeah, it comes with these palisades, okay, and there's eight of these, there's four straights, there's a load of, of ladders and stuff like that. You can see on the pictures, but it comes as a basic uh, oval fort and it takes up about three foot by two foot. My plan is to do something a little bit special. I want to sort of embed it into a mountain pass okay and make it sort of a, a frontier gate uh, the high peak pass basically yeah and so that's my basic plan now this is it's a board for them for the guys over at foreground but on top of that it's a for me it's an opportunity to have a play with the fort it's an opportunity for me to show you weathering mdf kits and that sort of stuff so making them look a little bit more realistic okay it's an opportunity for me to play with a new uh, rock texturing technique I want to have a play with and then once all that's done it's going to be uh, for me it's going to be a demo piece where I'll use it to show you various snow and icicle techniques for a range of technical videos so there's actually quite a lot of stuff coming out of this but before I can do it I've got to build it and I've got to convert it now the oval fort is designed to lay flat I'm putting it in a mountain pass, I'm also doing some funky conversions which means we've got to do a lot of converting and changing heights. So the next thing I want to do is very quickly talk you through the layout so you understand where we're going with that. So let me set up for that. So uh, as I said I'm doing it on a, a 2 by 2 tile basis okay and this is the layout I'm going for. Now, it doesn't use anywhere near all the pieces. I'm still missing two full straights. I'm missing half the curves and I'm missing two of the towers. Those bits are all here and in the box. They're being reserved for the converting. My basic idea is I want to do a mountain side this side and I want to do a mountain side this side. So what this becomes is this becomes an encampment that uh, garrisons the troops to control this gate okay so my things that I'm going to need to convert is I've got these what you call it, doors now they're designed to have a little roof on and slide between these okay now what I want to do is actually raise the palisades up so they run across them so one of them I've got to embed into one of these curves and raise this up yeah the other one I need to put a palisade across here very much like this style okay and then I, uh, so I can put troops above this gateway and then I'm going to need to raise these towers so these doorways that are currently in line with this are actually in line with the top of the the doors and then I've got to raise all the uh, actual palisades up to match that and then with the bits I've got left over I want to sort of tart this up into some sort of like command tower so that is the battle plan my first job is yeah with these bits here uh, specifically one of these yeah we need to get the bits together and convert that into some sort of 
palisade across the top. <laughs> yeah. So, wish me luck. Here are some pics, and I'll see you soon. So, I'm working on my main gate, and to take you through the steps so far, yeah, when you build the palisades, you build them as two separate elements, but they're designed to go together. So, what I've done is I've taken the rampart part, okay, and I've essentially cut that in half and then glued it onto the top of my door piece after trimming off those little supports that were up there, basically giving me a platform. Now, we've also got this palisade feature. Okay, and I wanted to nick that to put at the top, but I needed to shorten it down. So essentially what I did is I put the pieces together and then if I bring that up, you can see there's a score line on them where to cut them. And what I did was using a hobby saw, cut them down, cut the bottom bits off them until they were just like that. And then I've just used super glue to mount them. Quite often when I do MDF kits and these sort of projects, I'll use a mix of PVA and super glue. I'll use PVA to do the heavy long-term sticking, but I'll just use little drops of, of super glue, yeah, to just make them fix instantly. One, this keeps them nice and steady while the PVA dries, but more importantly, I can just carry on and carry on building. So, we've got this bit done. Yeah, I've got to cut some more of these up, glue them onto there, and then we're moving on to the towers. Now, it is a bit of a weak join on there, but you've got to remember I'm going to have a tower either side of this yeah so very much like that okay and when I do I'll be putting glue on there as well so it'll be glued not just along that edge but also up there so I'm not really concerned about how strong this bond is right now as long as it's strong enough just to hold the piece if you know what I mean so uh, right more cutting yeah, I'll finish this and then I'll bring it back when we've got some watch call it, when we've actually got uh, the towers on the go. See you in a sec. So working on extending the tower goes really well. Uh, basically what I've done is, if you remember, the towers were this big, but because we wanted the palisade on the top, we've had to raise them. So what I've done is, the actual tower components, I've cut, yeah, I've taken the bottom off them. And I had two spare towers, so I've already done this with one of the towers and taken the bottom off completely. And I've got another four pieces here, yeah, that I've already taken off. Now, these will get assembled around these, around this piece here. Yeah, and then once they're all on, Okay, all I'll do is I'll glue this to the bottom of this tower. Now I have already glued this and super glued it and fixed it on. Yeah, so you can see how now, yeah, I've got my sort of, my rampart level in line with my door, but I've raised the height of the tower. Now I've glued on one side. Now one of the challenges I faced was this, this thickness here. It's wide enough, okay, for that needs re-gluing. <laughs> it's wide enough for, uh, it's not, it's too wide to fit in between the fascias that are gonna go here, the log fascias. So what I've had to do, is if I bring it up, do you see how I've had to trim away there? Yeah? All I've done is I've got a pair of clippers and a little bit of sandpaper, and I've just filed them away. I'll blend it in, yeah, when the whole model's finished. But I've had to clip those away so I can get an, the, the watch it nice and flush up against it. But that is essentially half our tower done. Next thing we need to do is just crack on with this bit, add it to this side, and then that will be our gatehouse complete. Huzzah! Yeah. So my next job is, uh, oh yeah, that definitely needs re-gluing now. Okay, my next job is I'm gonna crack on with this tower, re-glue this, and I'll show you some pictures in a second, guys. So 
So that's both my towers now done and I've mounted the watch call it the doorway in between. So we started off with this doorway which was supposed to have a roof on it. We fixed onto the, the rampart, the palisades. Yeah, the door's still functional. Yeah, in there. Yeah, we've raised the height of the towers so that our doors, yeah, it's still what you call it, they still sort of go onto the rampart. So it's functional game wise. Okay, I didn't like the idea that that blocked sort of movement between the towers and that sort of stuff, and it didn't work for my pa my mountain pass idea. So we had to sort of jerry rig that and fix that. So we've got that bit done. Yeah, on top of that, I've done a very quick one. What I've done is one of these full pieces that I'd already done before. Yeah, I simply cut it straight down the middle with a hobby saw. Yeah, and then I turned them side by side and glued them together. This is important because this bit is going to go here. Okay, on the, what you call it, on this side. And it's gonna connect with the mountain side. Okay, where we're gonna do our actual mountain. So I needed to do this now. Now the, the thing that I need to do next is I actually need to raise this up somehow. Okay, and I'm thinking foam. So I need to raise this up so many levels. Yeah, so I need so many sheets of my 10 mil foam, which is actually 11 mil. Now I have prior measured this and the height I need it for is actually 44 millimeters. So technically four, four layers of my 11 mil foam should be perfect but we ain't gonna know till we try it. So, I'm gonna crack on, yeah, and I'm gonna cut some foam and see if we can get this level. If we can get this level, then we can move on to the other palisades and start working on the other towers and that sort of stuff. But essentially, our major sort of, one of the major challenges of the build, yeah, I know it's not finished with all the fascias on and that sort of stuff, but it's done. And I know you can't see it, but I can, and it's looking beautiful. So I'll be back in a minute once I've had a play with these, and watch what we've sort of extended this. We'll take it from there, guys. So our gatehouse is cracking on. I've worked out and four layers of my blue foam, which is about 11 mil, yeah? It's just shy of 11 mil, but I think four layers came to about 43 mil. And it's worked perfectly. It's got this to the perfect height and it's got it to the same height as this one, yeah? Which means my gate is really coming together. It's almost pretty much done conversion-wise. I've still got a little bit of work to do on the fascias. And we might finish that up tonight to be truthful. Yeah, just to get them done. And so it, I can turn around and say this piece is finished. Uh, but before I do that, there's another little bit of more challenging converting to do. Obviously this is the main gate for the mountain pass. Now what I want is I want a gate into the encampment as well. Okay, and the kit comes with two gates. Once again, it's got the supports on for the roof, so we're gonna have to clip those off. Now my layout that I want to do, the, the, the encampment is a curved encampment. I'm not using straights. And so basically I've got to look, this is one of the finished pieces, but I've got to look at how to convert this to combine this, okay? To end up with something like this. And my basic ideas with this, and I am very much playing along, is I know that four sheets of foam will raise this platform high enough to be the right sort of height for those palisades to be, you know what I mean, at the right position. I already know the, the length I need to cut the palisades to from this piece to get them at the right height and so they don't interfere with the door. So what I'm thinking about doing is basically cutting, yeah, this piece out yeah and then raising it on foam and building over the top of it it'll mean a little bit of modification and sort of building on the fly but it's nothing I haven't done before yeah and it's certainly doable so that's the challenge okay that I'm now faced with yeah how well I do in that challenge <sighs> you'll have to take a look at the photos guys I'll see you in a sec
So it works continuing on our curved gatehouse. Okay, now uh, we've, we've cut our foam blocks out so it's raised up above the actual doors. We've trimmed off the top of these bits so it can sit flat. And if I just pick this up, it isn't glued yet, but we've essentially done just a bit of that. Yeah, so we've just done the two outer elements and the two outer bits of the base, which you can sort of see here and here. Now the next bit we've got to do is we've got to add this piece and this piece, which are just drying at the minute. But the challenge is that we need to keep this clear for the door, much like with our previous piece with the, the main gatehouse. And so, because I've got the offcuts from the main gatehouse, I can use these as a guide at the bottom of these, because all the palisades are, are standardized heights, to give me my cut line. So once these are dry, I can cut these out on here, I can lay them across here, and then I can place that on top of there, which will essentially do my gang tree across the top. After that, we'll have a little bit of dressing at the, top, at the, at the sort of front to hide the join lines, and a little bit of work at the back to finish it off. But, yeah, we've pretty much cracked it guys. So, uh, once these are dry, I'll do some cutting, we'll get them mounted, and hopefully next shot you see, it should be finished. Well, it's been a long crafting session, but we have made some solid progress. I've managed to get all the gatehouse done and I've managed to also pretty much nail the watch call it, uh, the curve gate, but gatehouse first. Now, obviously I've put all the fascias on. Yeah, we've uh, trimmed the roof down off this so we could add the palisades, trim those off. We've also raised up with the blue foam this watch call it set of palisades. Yeah, so we can have a rampart that lines in with the door and also lines up with the actual what you call it rampart that's here as well so they're all lined in okay we've had all the fascias and that sort of stuff and it's looking rather good and yeah very quickly to see the finished effect yeah if i throw that one on there and that one on there i'll show you some pictures in a minute but there you go that's the finished gatehouse and it's been raised up and you know we've done what we've needed to do with it there's still some playing around with it once it gets on the model and a little bit more converting i think just to cover the odd little bit and touch it up but it, it's 95 percent there you know what i mean i'm quite happy with that now obviously i've got to do the walls extending off here around the side that's a job for tomorrow now the other th task that i set myself was working out the actual curved door and Obviously, I've got my blue foam here to hold them up, but if I remove that, bring that up, you can see I fitted that in really nice, yeah? And if I hold it there, yeah, it still needs gluing in, but you can see we can just cover these bits up with something. We'll be absolutely fine on that count. Focus, damn you, focus. Yeah, there you are. So I've just got to cover up this bit and this bit from the back doors. But from the front, very nice indeed yeah so as I say I have cut some blocks just to get some height on it while it it sort of it works and it goes together and then once I've figured out what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna do it we'll do it so to speak yeah so that's the gatehouse done that's the what you call it the encampment gate done and here's some pics guys little bit fiddly but it came out all right so if i just show you very quickly you can see that what i've done is essentially i've used the spare sort of palisades from the extra bits i'm not using in the kit just to dress it i cut the foam down so it's a pretty nice fit you see where i put a sliver in there yeah just to keep this this bit level 
okay? And so yeah, just a couple of extra Palisades, dress that up, and that's actually working quite nice. Now, I've got a bit of a problem. Well, it's not a problem, I knew I had it, yeah? I've got the standard walls. Now obviously, if I put the standard walls next to my new improved door, we've got a bit of a problem. We need to raise this. And we need to raise it by, what you call it, uh, about 44 millimeters, which happens to be, yeah, four layers of foam. <laughs> All right, so my next job is I need to make some embankments for these, raise these up, and then we need to get them on the larger piece, which I'll show you in a minute, and, and sort of find and decide on the final layout. I think what we might have to do is just upgrade the tower as well before we do that, but let's get these walls done. So we've tackled raising the battlements, and for this I've used, you know, blue foam once again. Okay, now these were only three high, yeah. They've been beveled at the front, and then I've extended them at the back, because what I plan on doing is, from the other previous sort of curved barricades, palisades that I haven't used, I've got spare bits. I've used one of the bits, this bit here, to sort of wooden cover this area, and I'm gonna use uh, one of the top bits to come in here and basically plank that up, making it stepped. Now I've done that for these two, okay? This one's slightly different. This is gonna go at the side of this door, okay? Uh, round towards the safe end of the camp, which you'll see in a minute. Okay, so I haven't done the step with this one. It's a much shorter sort of palisade. Yeah, and that's gonna go onto here. Yeah. Obviously, it's got to be raised up, yeah, by one more piece because this is only three. We're going to be doing that on the actual board when we do the actual layout, okay? So, that's where we are right now. It has just been a simple matter of cutting, shaping things up with a blade. And in the case where I've had to come along and cut things down, yeah, I've gone for the old junior hacksaw to get through it. It was a bit fiddly, to be perfectly honest, but, yeah, it's looking good. Right, uh, next job is I need to start laying things out. Okay, so next job is I need to get the board, lay it out, make sure I've got my actual layout right, and then I can start to sort of shape the land as well. So I'm gonna get everything together and I'll bring the board back in a second. So I'm at the stage where I'm actually assembling everything. Now my walls and all these are done. They're glued in, yeah, and all I've done is I've neatened them up and I've trimmed them up. I've also come in and cut off a little bit of fascia on these towers here. This is a, to allow my battlements to, to fit flush with them. I'm gonna be dressing this with snow and touching it up, so I don't mind doing the odd bit of cutting and that sort of stuff, and the odd bit of exposed MDF, because I'll be touching it up anyway. Now the next thing that I needed to do was actually confirm the layout of it, yeah? And that, so I put it down on a sheet, a two by two sheet of five mil blue foam. And to be truthful, I, I've, I've made a rod for my own back with this one. The reason being is I got a bit clever about how I wanted it to sort of stack and look. And I've got uh, walls that are three levels high that need two layers of foam to sort of watch or raise them up to the right height. And then I've got towers which need no foam. Okay, so I'm having to do this sort of thing where I'm cutting inserts into the bottom, okay, to let the towers sit through. Same here. Yeah, these are sitting flat on the board and I've had to cut round a sheet, okay. Now, if I was doing it again, I wouldn't do that. I would have just gone, made those four and just worked from there. Yeah, but I have done this now. I don't want to be gluing an extra sheet onto the bottom of those. And I like little challenges like this when I, I throw these at myself. Yeah, the reason being is it, it challenges me. It'd be very easy for me to just add another piece onto there and then just crack on. But, you know, this sort of makes me think, you know what I mean? <laughs> if Mel can think. So if I turn it round, you can sort of see what we're going for here. Okay, we've got... 
if you imagine we're going to have a mountain pass here and we're going to have a mountain pass along here we've got this small encampment that controls this gate yeah and i think that works rather well yeah for what we want out of this piece so i've already started to put the first path in yeah i've got to do another layer now so i've got to do i've got to basically take this off layer this on top of another piece okay and then what you call it do a bit more cutting to get a bit more of this channeling in and hopefully once we've done that we can put another layer down and actually start to glue it down okay i do need to trim that in half as well before we glue it down because it's sort of extending over i'm kind of wishing i trimmed it on a half before i glued it down but me at mel being mel that's mel yeah i have cut this one down already and that one's working all right so the walls are in place everything's slowly coming together so what i'm going to do is i'm going to work on the uh, next sheet and the next sheet down to get that sort of contouring okay uh well then once we've got those and they're gluing we'll trim that down yeah and just just so we can finish that little bit so that's where we are right now uh i'll show you some pictures and i'll get cracked on So I've continued with my sheets and I've got my profiling done and I've got it so it looks like it's sort of going down into where the gate pass is and coming out the other side. The other thing which was the whole point around about doing the walls three and the, the this bits four and all that sort of stuff was I've cut a bit into here so I can build this up so the inside is, is going to end up higher than the outside if you know what I mean if that makes any sense. And I'm going to keep doing bits and bobs and like that and building it up and that sort of stuff <coughs> as we go. <clears throat> now, apologies guys. Yeah, all these are loose. So what I need to do now is I need to actually get these glued, pinned, fixed down to the board because at some point we're going to have to come in and start sanding them, shaping them up. Okay. And on top of that, I do have to cut this one in half because it, it, it's just too long. So we've got to do that as well. That's going to get messy. Yeah, I'll probably have to refix that, but we are on course, if you know what I mean. So looking at everything, it's looking rather good. Yeah, my next job is, as I said, I've got to get these glued down now. Yeah, and then we're in the stage where the fort is coming together. We've still got to do the command tower. Yeah, that's not a major jobby. Yeah, but I do want to get the landscape sort of fixed and firmed down and these bits are starting to get in and that sort of stuff now. So, as we, as we keep saying, cracking on time. Right, gluing and pinning time. Here's some photos. So it works progressing and while the baseboard dries, yeah, I'm working on the command tower. Now, as I, I'm not sure if I filmed this bit earlier, so I'll just take you through quickly. I did have two standard towers. Yeah, I cut five planks off the bottom of this one, yeah, and added to this one. Now this is a wall tower. I needed that for the extra height, okay? But that leaves me with a rather stunted command tower. Now, I've only used four of the towers out of the six that come with the kit. So, yeah, what I've done is with the remaining parts, I've cut them up and reassembled them into different assemblies. Yeah, the idea is that we're going to use this to get the general height. So the first thing we're going to do is the command tower I want, ri I want uh, rised above the ground a bit. Yeah, so I'm going to start with this one. Yeah, I'm going to put that there on top of there. So that will be the entrance into the command tower. After that, we're going to have this balcony section because I need these struts, yeah, as a floor section for the third part, the fourth part, yeah, of the tower, which is the top bit. And then on top of that, yeah, we'll go there. Now it's important to note, yeah, when we sort of 
sort of showing relative size. This tower, okay, this tower only actually starts there when you buy it as a kit. So this tower is essentially, oh, don't, I've got to go really careful here. Yeah, this tower is essentially that much taller than the standard towers. So it's, it's, it's quite a jump to be truthful. So my next job is, I just want to glue all these together where I need to glue them together so they're nice and firm. And then after that, it's time to start working on the fascias and then also the balcony. Okay, so I'll get cracked on with that. Uh, because this is done and dried, we're at the stage also where we can start to put things onto the actual table once that's dried. So as soon as that's dried enough, we'll get those bits on the table and start gluing them in as well. Yeah, but in the meantime, time to make Frankenstein's tower. <laughs> So here is my food has arrived and under it is my table. These are holding everything down, it's pinned and everything, but it's time for it to start actually adding the, the elements. Okay, so we're gonna start off and the first one we're gonna work with is, yeah, our gatehouse that we've made. Now this is the front of the gatehouse and what I've done is, yeah, all the cuts and everything are really tight and firm. So I know exactly where it's going. Yeah, all I need to do to actually put it in is grab a little bit of PVA. Yeah, let's do just two lines. One there and one there. Yeah, you'll notice I've still got the cans on. That's because to be truthful, the base is still drying, but I just want to crack on with this now. Yeah, so I'm just going to drop that in there. And I realised right in the middle I've missed with my PVA, so let's just rub that up to that crack. And at the same at the other side, yeah, just so it does actually glue it down. Yeah. Now, next thing I need to do is I'm going to start putting in all the other earth ramparts and that sort of stuff. So slowly take away these cans, put in the other earth ramparts, and then I'll take a photo, then I'll put all the cans back on it for it to dry and we'll get cracked on with the command tower. So we've got battlements to go in here, we've got a gate to go in there and battlements to go in there. I better get cracked on, Anna. not I? I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay guys, that is my balcony done. It was very fiddly to be truthful. Yeah, if I take that bit off, you can see that where we put the four parts of Frankenstein's tower together. Yeah, so the top part, the, the three part, the, the bottom part, and then the bottom section. Yeah, and all I've done with this is, as I said, I've cut it down and basically put it on. Now there's a couple of gaps, we can hide those, that's not a problem. I still have to finish this, and what I mean by finish it, is I've got the fascias to put up on this and just finish those bits off. And then, yeah, as we've got with this top tower, which these are made out of, we've got these wooden palisades. So I want to add those to the outside here, and I've still got two roofs left. So if possible, and I don't know if it is, I'd like to see if I can extend a roof over this, yeah, from this point onto here. But that's gonna be a bit complicated and a bit of a challenge. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. Yeah, but yeah, I'm going to carry on with a couple of little jobs, get this covered and see if I can tackle the roof. But this is the last of the major converting. So, uh, pickies if you want them. On the floor for this one, best way of showing you from home. Right, uh, things are dry. So. Very quickly, let me take you through the command tower. Okay, so we've got the command tower here. Most of the converting is done on this. There's still a little bit of converting. I want to add a roof onto this top balcony. Yeah, but I've essentially doubled the height, at least, of these towers. 
Yeah, so that's a hell of a piece now that's going to go in here. Now, I'm not, there's still quite a bit of work to do on that one, and the battle plan is that I'm not going to fix it onto the board. I've still got to do the mountains on this side and on this side, and it's going to be a lot easier to do those if that isn't fixed down. So I'm going to make a placeholder for it, slide it in when we get to the snowy stage, yeah, and then just blend it in at that point. But there's still quite a bit of conversion to do. But on the actual main piece, now everything is absolutely solid in. Yeah, pins are staying in. I'm just gonna leave them in until I shape it. Okay, which will be coming up soon. But yeah, if I just take you around, obviously we've got the entrance in here. You can see how I've beveled it off. We've got the, the ramparts here. I've got to put a rampart here along with the mountains. If I spin it round, yeah, you can see the back entrance, yeah, with the other alternate gate into the main encampment. Obviously there's gonna be mountains along here and round here, yeah, to ba basically make it into a pass, a mountain pass. Okay, so inside here, if I just put the command tower there for a second, yeah, and I turn this round, yeah, there's still gap filling to do and stuff like that, but you can see how I've used the spare curved battlements to make this step here, so I can have steps going up. Obviously, we've raised all the towers like you saw earlier, yeah, and they're all in. Just got to blend them in. So a little bit of earthwork along here. And then I've got various bits left over, bits of roofs, bits of supports, bits of palisades. And I'm just going to use those to dress the piece. Okay, so that's pretty much the next stage, which will be the fine tuning of the landscaping, the, the dressing with all my remaining bits, and then the start of building the mountains yeah after that we'll have painting and frosting it up so we're probably looking at another one part to cover, cover the final conversion and the mountain building and then probably one or two parts for the painting and the snowing depending on how in depth you want me to go on that so if there's any snowy stuff yeah you want me to cover you know in the comments guys as always yeah any questions any suggestions all that sort of stuff in the comments guys like it share it as always and all that palaver if you are a patron then as always yeah you'll be getting first views of the project so if you'd like to keep a really close eye on this and see it before it comes to the youtube channel check out patreon guys and in the meantime yeah mel's going camping so i'll see you sunday when i get back from camping all the best see you soon there all the best ta -da.